the next thing we're going to do here is draw some grid lines on my home tab of my ribbon I will go over here to grid line pick on my grid line tool and I don't need to change anything over here I can go with just a straight line I don't want any offset I'm gonna pick a point once and then while I'm picking I can zoom in with my wheel button and drag up and then go a certain distance I don't really know what the length of that is but we'll find out shortly and then pick a second point Okay. Now I can go and draw another grid line, but I'm going to go right where the number 1 is and pick inside there and change that to be an A, and then hit enter on the keyboard. Now the next one, as I move along, you see where you hover? If you hover near the end point, you'll pick up these temporary dimensions. So then I kind of know where I am. So this is a double car garage. I want it to be, you know, about maybe 24 by 26 or something and I can just hover you know it doesn't matter because I can change it later and then pick and then drag up and you want to align it with that one pick and then wheel in with your mouse and pen and you can see it says B okay now we're going to um, start another one by picking a point over here somewhere don't pick that lock okay and then pick and I'm gonna go in here and click in there and change this to be a one on the keyboard and click out now I'm going to go up here, pick and drag. Okay, we don't if you make a mistake and you go like this by mistake, hit escape on the keyboard, escape again, pick the object and delete on the keyboard. Okay, then start your grid tool again, grid off of your home tab and then align, pick and then find that endpoint and pick. When you're done, you hit escape once. That gets you out of that current environment or that current um, bunch of settings, but leaves you in the grid command. If you hit escape again, then that will actually close off the tool. Okay, so that's typical. One escape gets you part way out. Another escape on the keyboard. My left hand hovers over that escape, uh, that escape keyboard constantly hovers over that. So that is your cancel button. Okay, so there we've got some grid lines in and we want to kind of position them in the middle of of these this is our north south east and west so if they're not centered do a big crossing box from right to left and then using your arrow keys nudge those into place you want them about centered again escape once escape again zoom in and there we have our grid lines